H.G. Wells said, I am a historian. I am not a believer, but I must confess as a historian that this penniless preacher from Nazareth is irrevocably the very center of history. Jesus Christ is easily the most dominant figure in all history. This is Daniel White the Third with Just Jesus, a podcast designed to celebrate the birth, life, death, burial, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus Christ, the impact he has on the world, and the salvation he offers for all people. This is episode number 199. The aim of this podcast is to encourage you to begin a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and to begin to live your life according to his word, his will, and his way. Our Just Jesus passage from the Word of God today is John 10, 14-15, which reads, I am the Good Shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine, as the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Our featured Just Jesus quote today is from Shalem Esk. He said, Jesus Christ is to me the outstanding personality of all time, all history, both as Son of God and as Son of Man. Everything he ever said or did has value for us today. And that is something you can say of no other man, dead or alive. There is no easy middle ground to stroll upon. You either accept Jesus or reject him. Holy Father God, we thank you for Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. Beloved, Jesus Christ has said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. In the early days after Jesus' ascension to heaven, the people we now call followers of Christ or Christians simply called their new faith the way. Yes, the way to a relationship with God through Jesus Christ the way to joy, the way to peace, and the way to eternal life with God in heaven. Do you want to know the way to all of these blessings? Allow me to show you the way. First, accept the fact that you are a sinner and that you have broken God's law. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Second, accept the fact that there is a penalty for sin. The Bible states in Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death. Third, accept the fact that you are on the road to hell. Jesus Christ said in Matthew 10.28, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Also, the Bible states in Revelation 21.8, But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Now, dear friend, this is bad news, but here's the good news. Jesus Christ said in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Just believe in your heart in the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe that he died for your sins, was buried, and rose from the dead by the power of God for you, so that you can live forever with him. I pray and ask him to come into your heart today to save your soul, and he will. Romans 10, 9 through 13 says that if thou, that of you, shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart, that God hath raised him from the dead, thou, you, shalt be saved. 
For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Until next time, my beloved, please remember that at the end of the day, only one thing matters, and that's Jesus. Just Jesus and nothing else. God bless you.